pardon me, I'm dealing with seasonal allergies, so my voice is a little bit <coughs> raspy and I'm coughing a bit, so bear with me. Uh, I just wanted to show you very quickly something I'm working on, uh, something called Tiddly Forms. Uh, for the longest time, I've been wanting or wishing that we had a forms builder or designer for Tiddly Wiki. So I've started playing around with, a, I guess, a little prototype here and that I want to show you. So here's my forms designer and we're going to go through the process of creating a student form. So let's create a new form. I'm going to call it student form. I'm just going to call it student. And here's the beginnings of our form. Uh, just one cell uh, with the ability to add as many rows and columns of cells as we want. So I guess I should say this is one row, one column. Let's just add another row and let's create uh, some some widgets and, and for editing data. I only have one cell type at the moment and uh, my previous test recording on my Chromebook uh, you can't see the list that I just popped open for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with my recorder, but so text input for the first name attribute. And then I'm going to select it. And we've got a first cell defined. Just a text a input text and uh, the label first name. And let's do the same thing for second name. So here's our very basic form. Now ideally, uh, I'd have something to show you right now, a, a, a student Explorer or Student Manager Tiddler in which in which would have buttons to automate the creation of new students and all of that and new student records. Uh, that's something we're going to have to do manually for now. So let's start by creating a Student Editor Tiddler and a Student Record. So student one which we want this record to be edited by the student form which is called zero 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 one Let's save that. And the student editor normally would have a nice little button and the student editor would know which record we want to edit. We don't have that smarts just yet built in. So let's not rename the tiddler. Let me set this up to edit student record one again all of this business automated with a nice interface later on with buttons none of this silly editing business but for now just to get the show on the road and I'll explain what's going on here after we uh, we get this working now, look at this, our student editor, this is showing the template, or sorry, is showing the form that we created with the form designer. And as we enter data in here, right now the student editor knows it's working on student record one. So that would be me. So we can see that this Tiddler is using the form that we created with the form designer 
to enter data that's saved into this record right here. And how is all this working? The form designer has a dual purpose. Uh, yes, it is meant for designing forms and saving the attributes of that form in a data tiddler with all of the attributes of that form. But it can also be used as a transclusion template so that whatever we want to well, a little hard to explain. It can be used as a transclusion template so that way when we want to edit some record, the form specified by that record will be displayed uh, with the help of the form designer because the form designer has all the smarts to show how to lay out fields as per uh, the attributes that were saved earlier. So that's where I am at <laughs> at present. Uh, I still have some work to do but at least this shows just the basic framework of how things are going to work uh, and it seems to be working pretty nicely so far. Uh, eventually here we'll have the ability with these buttons we don't at the moment but as we have big as we create bigger forms and uh, this layout this modular layout that we've got will allow moving cell contents from one cell to another so if I wanted second name to be beside first name I just move it over and then move it up it's not as nice as drag and drop but uh, I think this will be good enough we'll, we'll see as we go along anyway I hope that you found this interesting it's um, I think it's something that's going to be really useful uh, but we'll see anyway, cheers